Oh, really it's so out. New York right now. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another special episode of Fun Bros Food. We're in the East Village right now. We're gonna show you seven classic New York foods. Woo! These are seven iconic dishes that either originated from New York City or helped define it. Whether or not you knew they're from New York, you might have had some of these. Seven, seven classic, classic New York, York dishes. dishes. Let's, Let's go. go. The first thing up on our list of classic New York foods, bagels. And these just ain't any regular bagels. New York bagels. Yo, we need to get some spread. So for those of you guys who don't know, bagels are actually a traditional Eastern European Jewish food. Yo, six dollars for everything. That's crazy. That's right. I like it. Okay, so we're at one of the most famous bagel shops in New York, Casas Bialis, and we have Bialis, which is sort of like a part bagel. Rich, what are we looking at for our spreads here? Cream cheese right here, roasted garlic with herbs. That sounds Ooh. crazy. So it's salmon locks prepared like pastrami. So I got all the peppers and the spices on it. What's up, Steven? What What's up? going on? Seattle guys in the building. That just goes to show you, even when you're in New York at famous bagel spots, you never know who you're gonna bump into. This is Steven Padno, our good friend from Seattle. I'm a New Yorker, because New York's got the best bagels. Oh! <laughs> we love Seattle, but I think New York got better bagels. Man, I think bagels is a great way to start off your day. They're dense, it's a carb, it's not greasy or anything. This is definitely bagels on another level. Ooh, you see the layers of flavor right there? You know, the thing is about Bialy's bagels are actually boiled, which a lot of people don't know. Bialy's are not boiled, they're baked. When you put cream cheese on a bagel, you put a schmear. Not a smear, not a spread, it's a schmear. Okay, our very first bite of New York bagel. That is so much flavor, man. I'm already feeling like Jerry Seinfeld. I know most people are used to the mass-produced bagels from the supermarket, but New York completely reinvented my idea of what a bagel is supposed to be. In New York, bagels are a priority. And whatever you do, remember, it's not a spread, it's a smear. Smear it. Coming in at number two, you know what it is. Pizza. Two bros selling pizza for a dollar a slice. That's how we would do it. So we got our New York slice right here. Two dollars for lunch and you're good. It's a light, thin hand tossed crust and it's light on the sauce. And probably one of the most important parts is the foldability. You can fold it right here directly on the pizza or I've seen people fold it with the plate itself. However you fold it, you just gotta fold it. It's like origami. So I'm doing the uh, index finger fold hold. I'm gonna press it right here. Classic pep. Pretty solid for the price. New York style pizza has always been my personal favorite. To me, deli or street pizza really represents the core of New York. The real New Yorkers, the native New Yorkers, are still eating a lot of $1 pizza. And they're definitely folding it and eating it on the street. Because if you don't fold your pizza and you're supposed to be a New Yorker, New Yorkers will blast you for it. Yeah, forget, forget about, about it. it. Coming in at number three on our list of classic New York foods, hot, hot dogs. dogs. New York style. You know what, we were gonna eat these hot dogs inside, but since hot dogs are a street food, we gotta take it to the streets. We got three different hot dogs here. We got the Coney Island style, the soaked onions, I've got the brown mustard. The ketchup was a little bit of a mistake. Try to stop you, man. This hot dog is based off of a bagel, so I got cream cheese, I got green onions, and I got a lot of everything seeds from the everything bagel. I got the Hawaiian dog right here, kind of with some pineapples, got a little bit of teriyaki, got some uh, green onions on top. We're far from Hawaii, but how to get it. But the key about New York hot dogs is it has to be an all beef frank, and it has to have an all natural casing. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. You know, we're actually pretty close to Coney Island, and that's where they have the famous this hot dog eating contest. Shout out to Kobayashi. Hey, shout out to Matt Stoney. I definitely think that New York's probably the inventor of the hot dog, but I can't lie. I cannot say it's the best hot dog I've ever had. It tastes like the hot dogs you would get at any sort of sporting event, NBA game, MLB game. Skating rink. The New York hot dog franks are pretty small. Now I can see why people eat like 72 of them. Coming in at number four, let me give you a clue. Cops like these. Homer Simpson likes these. And actually, surprisingly, a large amount of Asian Americans own these shops. Donuts. Okay, so you have your regular yeast donut or a raised donut, which is right here. Then you have your cake donuts, which is right here. And then also you have your filled donuts with the cream inside. Oh, that's crazy. It's on the inside. Oh. All right, I think the key for me, you know, in my Asian side is this green tea matcha mm. donut. And I like it. Brooklyn blackout. Yo, that's chocolate on chocolate. Is that based off that uh, New York blackout that they had? Where Brooklyn at? The Cruller is one of my favorite donuts of all time. This really reminds me of it. So why are donuts such a New York thing? The modern concept of a donut with the frosting and whatnot was invented in New York City in the 1920s. Also, I think because New York loves bagels and these are kind of like the dessert bagels. If you're eating donuts, you're pretty much either doing donuts and coffee or donuts and milk. Okay, so my favorite donut we tried today was the coconut lime. Cupcakes try to come through and steal donuts fire, but guess what? Donuts are just a little too classic, too much staying power. All right, so my favorite donut is a tres leche with some innovative thinking. You could kind of make them high-end. 
in and pretty creative. Uh, my favorite one's the green tea one. I think donuts are here to stay, but I'm glad that this spot really came up with the advanced flavors. They taking it to the next level. Coming in at number five and number six, we got pastrami sandwiches and New York cheesecake. Let's do it. As you can see, this is a major tourist destination. This is one of the most Yelp spots in New York and actually the entire world. Don't lose your ticket. Lost ticket fees apply. So we're gonna get one pastrami sandwich, which is like the most famous thing. But since I really love corned beef, I gotta try the corned beef sandwich. It's not salami, it's hot pastrami. So I gotta go down there to the, to the other end and get the cheesecake though. We actually got a lot of requests to try this spot, so we're putting it in this video. This is a New York staple, Cat's Deli. Cat's Delicatessen, Andrew. Oh. So here we got the pastrami, and we're gonna go for the corned beef. We're gonna go, me and Rich, going with the classic pastrami. We're in the Lower East Side LES, where pastrami was invented. I'm expecting some good things. That is oh. so much meat, bro. Nobody else other than America puts this much meat in the sandwich. Look at all this spice, you know it's got flavor. I know corned beef maybe isn't in the top seven, but I had to try it because I personally like corned beef. Oh! In my opinion, it's how corned beef is supposed to be done. Number six, New York cheesecake. Woo! Yo, we got a hoop for four hours after this. Oh, piece of strawberry up in that. Really taste the difference between that and like the grocery store cheesecake. Huge difference. Boom, boom. It was magic. There's something different about it. Even I think on the West Coast, it's not the same as the original from Cat's Delicatessen. Nah, man. And last but not least, coming in at number seven, we've got New, New York style Chinese, Chinese food. food. Okay, so you know that we cover a lot of authentic types of Asian foods that you can actually find in Asia, but this is purely a New York version of Chinese food. And you know in the movies when the detectives are trying to figure out who the big bad boss and connecting all the dots on the board. Callahan looks like it's gonna be a late one tonight. You should get Chinese. All right, if it tastes good and it's cooked by a Chinese person, is it Chinese food? You know what? It's New York Chinese food. Let's go. We're getting the general sows, we're getting the beef and broccoli, we're gonna get the lo mein, and then we're gonna get the chicken wings. <laughs> more authentic Chinese restaurants definitely do serve chicken wings, but they don't look like this. No, this no, is more no. Western style. Yeah. Let me tell you this, man. If you didn't think that Asians like fried chicken, you were wrong. General So! Oh! Salute him. All right, General So's dish was invented by Chinese immigrants in New York City. When I'm out in New York, I'm getting General So's, man. They have had like 100 years experience of cooking this. It tastes good, man. It's oh. Chinese. Y'all want to claim it? Claim it's it. Chinese. It's <laughs> Chinese. You know, there's Cantonese, and then there's uh, Northern Chinese, and Sichuan. This is the New York province of China. If you come to New York, try some New York style Chinese takeout. It's the best here. So come to Golden Force and see Nick. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that episode of Seven Classic New York Foods. My stomach's going crazy right now with all the flavors going in and out and everywhere. Even though these were Seven Classic New York Foods, I kind of feel like they're America's food because New York is the media hub of America. So many movies and TV shows are based here. You're familiar with them because that culture spread everywhere. In the comments below, let us know what New York foods are your favorite. And if we left any out. So until next time, we out. Peace. My name's Tim. I shoot a lot of the Fun Goes vids. Man, I love it here in New York. It's pretty cool. Follow me on Instagram, Judo Green. Thanks for watching the videos. Yo, Peace. Hold on, Mike Learn. Oh, get Mike. Mike. Get Mike in Mike. this. Oh. Who's oh. Mike? Who's Mike? They're in the videos. They're always oh. there, but you don't know. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, Kevin did it. No, we're, oh. not, okay. we're not always uh, on screen, but we're there. Oh! oh yeah. <laughs> always. <laughs>